Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie Good here. Morning. Hopefully your day is starting off in a very positive way. And I'll tell you what, there's a really positive organization that is here in town that over the past five, six, seven years has just grown immensely, Jackie. Yeah, and doing wonderful mm. things in our community. Of course, we're talking broad lawns mm -hmm. and continuing to expand their staff with some wonderful individuals as well. So we want to introduce you to someone new to the Broad Lawns organization, uh, Karen Olson. Thank you so much for Thanks being for having here. Me. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, so give us a little bit of your history because you were in private practice practice for quite some time. Private practice for 17 years. 17 okay. years, all here in the Des Moines area? All in Des Moines. Or, right, okay. Now, where'd you go to school? Let's find out all about you. Oh, so how far back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where'd you go to medical school? Here in Des Moines. Okay, really? So you really yeah. are a, a product of Des Moines? Yep. And then I did residency out in Michigan, and then I came back and started in private practice. That is great. Now, where, where were you located? What part of town were you located when you came back to I was private? in West Des Moines, and then um, most recently I had my solo private practice in Urbandale. Okay. And then you decided that it's time to uh, you know change things up a little bit and explain yep. how this all happened. Healthcare's hard, and mm -hmm. it's hard being a small business owner mm -hmm. and, and trying to take care of patients. So Broadlands gave me the opportunity to take care of patients, and they'll take care of the business side, and I get to do what I love. And that's really what what you wanted to do in the first place. Isn't yeah. it? You don't want to have to worry about all the uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T's and adding two and two. And it got really hard. Tedious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But let's talk about why Broadlawns. Why, why did you so decide that was where you needed to be? Broadlawns really had a vision of like patient care and letting me continue my style of private practice, but in their organization. And I'm grateful that I get to continue to take care of people the way I like to take care of people. Mm -hmm. And so I could find that there. Now, you said your style of private practice. What, what, what does that mean? Um, I th I'd like to think that I take time to listen to people and let them share their story and get to know them instead of kind of having to rush through. Broadlands gives you more time with your patients. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the um, quality that you can get there for care, not just with me or in our department, but all across the, the uh, campus. So it's not just rushing piece, people in and out and trying to get as many through as you can. You want right. to take time and find out what is really going on. Right. They we, ask me, how much time do you want with this type of appointment? How much time do you want with that type of appointment? And I could set my schedule so we could best meet people's needs. And that's wonderful to hear because I'm sure with someone uh, with your experience could kind of choose wherever you wanted to go, but you chose them because you care about how they take care of their patients. Yep. Exactly. I really wanted to partner with them. I love that. Okay, so let's talk about your specialty uh, of why people would come and see you. Um, it's OBGYN, mm -hmm. um, but that has some different facets to it. So traditional OB, I'm on call tonight. And then... <laughs> <laughs> so Just thanks for making know. me wake up early. <laughs> <Just> you <know>. <laughs> <laughs> know. And then, you know, gynecology, gynecology surgeries like hysterectomies and DMCs and laparoscopy, the traditional stuff. Um, a couple of my kind of niche areas are menopause management and also working with the LGBTQ population and helping meet their health care needs. Oh, yeah. I love that. Now, now, what facility are you based out of then? I am at the main campus, and then I'm also one day a week out at the East University campus. And the East University one, you and I were talking before the cameras went on, that has really uh, been a gem over on the east side of town, it's, hasn't it? It is a beautiful space. They take great care of people. You can get all kinds of care there, family practice, urgent care, specialty care, um, and it's a really welcoming place. We were, it's safe. You saying that we were looking at a couple of photos there for a moment ago, and let's talk about the p space itself. It's one to have the time and the patience that you're given to the people that come in and see you, but let's talk about the facility itself. What, what's your instant reaction about where you get to go to work? You know what's really awesome about that, especially at the main campus. I am not driving all over town to take care of, you know, get to surgery and get to the clinic and it's all in one place and I just ride the elevator and then I'm in the OR and it's mm -hmm. awesome. So just being in one one facility for me or one system. Yeah. And is, it, is really for you especially, you said that you've been around here for 17 years. You've seen uh, the advancements that Broadlawn has made yeah. uh, in the past, we'll just say decade around, just to make yep. things in round figures, but really they put the right pieces in place, didn't they? They sure did, and it's so exciting to see like the addition that's going on, and that's going to be the new family birthing space mm -hmm. uh, that's going to have just really cool, welcoming rooms. They've got a bathtub that you can access from a couple different sides, just nice neutral colors, big spaces, new nursery, new state-of-the-art OR for C-sections. And then the um, med surge area has ex is going to expand, have these really beautiful private rooms for like my uh, my surgery patients right. and just medical patients in general. And then the um, 
ICU is expanding and updating, and it's it looks awesome on the um, mock-ups that we're seeing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and continuing to do new and innovative things at Broadlands yeah. all the time. Yep, and then I think the next phase, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, is to in, in large or increase the number of ORs. Okay, so it, it, it is really making leaps and bound changes there, and you, we have, you've been able to witness it from afar. Now, what's it like now being as part of the mix now, since you got inside and you're part of the team, what's that perspective for you? It's really exciting to be part of the growth. I'm super happy and proud to be, say that I get to be a part of the growth at Broadlands. Mm -hmm. and there's, but there's still a really good community feel, like the staff, everybody just really cares about doing their job well mm -hmm. and taking good care of patients, non-judgmental, just meet people where they're at when they come in the door just whatever you got going on it's okay we're not going to judge you i love that especially with all the great work that you're doing with the lgbtq community we appreciate that very much so Thanks. are you taking new patients i am at you this are. time okay, okay. so how would we uh, find you so we could come um, say hello you can call the women's health center which is at the main campus and that's 282-2340 or you can call over to the east clinic and that's 282 east Okay. Right. Yeah, you just have to be so excited. You said the new birthing center that is going in. Uh, yeah. and, and, and your eyes just opened up really mm -hmm. wide just now when we mentioned that. Uh, w what makes you so excited about that? It's, you know, I just like to take care of patients and I've stepped away from obstetrics for a little while, so now I'm getting back into it okay. and having patients that have been with me for a while be excited about I get to participate in that moment in their lives again. It's really meaningful. Now, speaking of patients, I want to get your perspective. Now, as you've been at Broadlands for how long now? Six weeks. Six weeks, yeah. She's a newbie. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what has been your take on the reaction to people when they come into Broadlands and they get the incredible service they get from Broadlands that they're not expecting uh, right. that level of service? Uh, what, what is your take? That's a great point. So a lot of my patients that have followed me have not previously accessed care at Broadlands. Mm -hmm. And to a person, everybody has been uh, happy, amazed, overwhelmed by the experience that they've had. It's, it, I'm at a loss for words for it. It's, I mean, everybody's just been so pleased with the care that they've got. I've asked everybody, whether it's surgery or it's in the clinic, uh, the person that's answering the phone, everybody's having a really awesome experience and they, kind of didn't expect it because they've had their care on the west side Correct. and they're moving over and finding a new little gem in Des Moines, a place to get your health care. Yeah, I don't think I you could that. have said it better mm -hmm. uh, than mm -hmm. just right there. And it's wonderful to get that new perspective of someone who's no just question. joining in. But when everybody's happy and enjoying what they're doing, yeah. your care is going to be given it's, in a very special way as well. And yeah, it's going to be better. I think they do a really good job of taking care of the people who take care of the patients. Right. I love it. Dr. Karen uh, Olison, how do they get a hold of you again? If uh, new patients are being accepted, yeah. how do they get a hold of you again? At the Women's Health Center, at okay. the main campus, or at the East University campus. Right. And you can get all those details at broadlawns.org. Thank you, you so go. much for coming. It's so, so nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Come see nice us again. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we're going to come see you, okay? Oh, do that. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> all right.